Hi folks, this box showed up on my doorstep today. It's from Atlas and they've sent me a couple product samples to review. So we're going to check them out today on Eric's Trains. Now of course I already know what's in the box because I read the packing slip, but I haven't actually opened the box yet, so it'll be a surprise for me as well. Now to open the box we're going to use my Mora Eldris knife today. So let's go ahead and do it. It's always fun when you get home and you find an unexpected box of model trains at your door. All right. So these are cool. Let me get rid of these packing peanuts. They sent me two of these O-scale operating oil pumps. So this one is the black and orange model. And then they sent me one more that's really cool looking. Let's get that one out. This one's a red and black and yellow and it's got a little bird beak on it. <laughs> now right here it says it's fully assembled and wired. Realistic operation. Colorful prototypical paint schemes. Operates on DC or AC power. 8 to 22 volts. And the dimensions are 7 and 11 sixteenths by two and seven eighths by six and three quarters. Age is 14 plus, Kappa. Not intended for children under 13. So annoying. All right, so. I have a feeling this fence is probably pretty delicate. So gotta be careful. Okay. Looks like this little rod, there's a little rod here that's going to go in that hole there. There we go. So there it is. It's beautiful. Let's go ahead and get the other pump out as well. Very careful with this, it's pretty delicate. And there's that one. And on the underside, there's a couple wires. Let me check out the other one, that looked a little bit different. Okay, this little board came out, I gotta snap it back in. Okay. So there's two wires coming out, and that goes to 8 to 22 volts AC or DC. There's also this card that comes with it, with the instructions. And it looks like they've got some signs here. Where's the signs? Do you cut these out? Okay. Following the outline on the sign, cut it out from this sheet, put a drop of white glue on the back, and mount it to the side of the fence where desired. That's pretty cool. So they got these warning signs that you can cut out and glue to the fence. So here they are. These are pretty delicate. So these are definitely not toys. These are models. And they don't have any notches cut out along the side. So clearly this is meant to be on the table and the wires are meant to go down through the table to the underside to get power. Of course you could probably cut a notch if you wanted to to run the wire above the table but that's not what it's meant for. So. Let's go ahead and hook these up and see what they look like in action. Okay, I'm in the Colorado room and I think I'm gonna put this first one right about here. I think that'll be kinda cool. So, I'll get my drill. All right, 
and now let's go ahead and clean up that mess. All right. So I'll run, it's kind of hard to do in front of the camera, but I'm gonna run these wires down through here. And I'll reach under the table and grab them. There we go. Okay. All right. I'm going to do it like that. I can do the fine adjustments later. That's fine for now. Okay, so I hooked it up and did a little test run off camera, and I found that this rod is hitting the table. It actually needs to go through the table, and if you read the instructions, it tells you that and it actually gives you the dimensions where you can measure to make sure you put the hole for the rod in the correct place. Now, I'm not trying to get that precise here, so what I'm going to do is just kind of guess where it needs to go, and then I'll put the hole right here. And then we'll vacuum that up. And now I'll just make sure the rod goes into that hole. There we go. There. Now that should work. Okay, I messed up. I actually had to re-drill the rod hole about a half inch closer to these trees because I noticed that the back of the pump over here was just a little too close to that track for comfort. It probably would have been okay, but I figured, well, I might as well just back it off to be safe. So it's good to go. I've got this hooked up to a little accessory transformer that I've got under the table here in the Colorado room. It's nothing fancy, but let's go ahead and cut it on and see what happens. <laughs> that is too cool. That's awesome. The motion is so smooth. It just looks incredible. It's a little noisy, but you know, that's because there is a motor turning in there. But the noise is not bad, and it just looks incredible. Atlas did a great job with this. Okay, I went ahead and added the second pump, so let's go ahead and power them on and check them out. That is so cool. It's a bit noisy, but actually it's not that bad. It's kind of hypnotic in a way. The sound of these two pumps running together kind of reminds me of the sound of an Airbus A320 in flight. If you've ever flown on an Airbus, you'll know that sound. Very cool. So yeah, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed that. Now, of course, when I finish this, you know, I'll scenic around here so that you won't see these seams down here and so forth. So once I'm done with this area, it'll look much better. But yeah, I'm really impressed by these things. They run great. They look great. They're smooth as silk. Again, Atlas did a fantastic job on these oil pumps. So yeah, if you're interested in picking one of these up, contact your favorite Atlas dealer or go to www.atlasrr.com. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And when you do subscribe, make sure you click that little bell icon next to the subscribe link so that hopefully YouTube will send you a notification whenever I publish a new video. If you'd like to support Eric's Trains, you can do so through Patreon at www.patreon.com slash Eric's Trains. I'd like to put a big thank you out there to all of my current Patreon supporters. Your support means so much to this channel, 
And I have a feeling that it's going to mean even more in the future with all these crazy laws that are coming down on YouTube. So your support means so much to the future of this channel. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm Eric Siegel, and I'll see you next time.